Yo, what is going on guys? Edward here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm actually going to be answering one of your guys' questions because you have asked me, Edward, how do I actually go through the whole process of actually purchasing an app and actually getting an app to my account? And I'm actually going to show you a tip or even a trick or even a hack that's actually going to give you organic downloads on your Android app or your iOS app or really any application that you purchase from Flippa. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that my name is Edward Carino and I create videos just like this one every single day on how to make money online and how to work from home. So if you subscribe to my channel right now and click that notification bell, you, my friend, will get notified whenever I upload a brand new video every single day on how to make money online and how to work from home. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you click that notification bell, guys, so you won't miss anything. And guys, if this method is not for you or this information that you're not really interested in purchasing apps and getting organic downloads so you can start making some organic money and just profit guys make sure you click on any my channel make sure you check out my, some of my other videos i have over 180 videos right now this is insane guys there's 180 different methods that you can actually master in so make sure you choose one of those me me uh, methods and make sure you actually go tunnel vision on that method so you can actually see results so guys let's actually move over and let's get started on this actually money making method so i can show you the whole process from actually purchasing an app or actually even looking for an app and actually getting that information and actually giving the person that's actually gonna send that information to you. So I'm gonna show you everything in this video and I'm also gonna show you that hack at pretty much close to the end of the video. So let's get started right away. And the first step is actually going to Flippa. Yes, Flippa. So within Flippa, if you guys do not know what Flippa is, it's pretty much a website where you can actually, uh, people, are, let's say coders or somebody that's just interested in selling either the website domain, uh, apps, uh, AdSense accounts, content and ads, or even e-commerce, so we're just going to be interested in apps just because it's pretty passive and it's pretty interesting actually owning a passive app on the Android store or iOS store. Now I would highly recommend you guys starting off if you're starting off through ads or apps, sorry about that, is actually going through Android just because you only need to pay a $25 fee for actually uh, joining in on a developer's account or a developer console account. So it's only $25, it's not that much at all So and it's unlimited, it's for life, but on I iOS I think it's... Uh, I think a hundred dollars every year or around a hundred dollars for two years I'm not really sure but it's still pretty expensive just so you can start putting apps on iOS devices so if you go over here what I would highly recommend I'm gonna show you the whole process we're just gonna to go to ending soon because I like to try to get uh, the closest or the lowest bid uh, for pretty decent apps so what we're just gonna do is come over here since we're already on ending soon this is gonna end in a couple of minutes as you can see four hours this one has six hours so what I like to do first is actually study the right side of this column where it says current price and everything that is in green is what price that you can actually purchase uh, let's say right before that hour ends so you can actually get this for let's say 250 if uh, it lasts within the next five minutes or once it reaches five minutes on a countdown timer then if that price is still at 250 then you just bought it at 200 and fifty dollars so with all these black uh, ones right here I believe that it's up to the owner of the application if they want to sell it at that price or you can just go over here to the buy it now price and just buy an app right away so with the first step is actually going over here checking out all the green tabs this is what I do whenever I search for a tab I actually just got through buying an app I believe a couple of uh, days ago like two or three days ago um, so I'm still going through the process of actually getting that app on my account but I'm going to talk about that app in a minute so it says best, best friends girls. So this person's already making uh, supposedly $332 uh, per month. And that's why they're selling it at $3,500 uh, for the buy it now price. And then this is worth $305 right now. And the reason why is because it says organic income. So this is an organic app, but I'm going to show you a hack in a minute. So yours can be organic as well. So we're just going to keep on going through and just look for a cheap app uh, that we can see right now. So this is a, a hexagon box puzzle amazing 260 levels box puzzle so let's just click on this and see what it is about just because of the price is pretty cheap um so you can see it's kind of like a weird kind of sketchy app uh i wouldn't like i wouldn't recommend this app but if you guys are interested in it then there it is i like to look for something that looks pretty attractive and uh that looks like it can actually go viral um so 
Let's do simple maths. Uh, we have three best Unity Android app portfolio. So that's a really interesting one if you want to get started with a portfolio. So you have three apps that you can actually work with. So we have the uh, Phil uh, Helix Blocks Puzzle. We have the Jet Airspace Combat Force Monkey Run. So let's just pretend we're going to use this app. Yeah, let's let's pretend uh, the second step that I usually take, which I didn't take on this actual purchase I did a couple of days ago, is actually coming first over here to this About Seller tab and actually looking at the seller verification. And as you can see, this person has not actually inputted their government ID. So I would... I would personally, but I didn't do it on this other app that I just bought. So I'm trying to see if this person is actually going to give me the application or not. He already switched over some of the information uh, for my ad mobs account, which is where you can actually get paid through the ads. So I'm most likely thinking he's legit. But I would highly uh, be so uh, suspicious or actually be careful if they don't have their government ID just because it makes me feel more comfortable that the actual flip up people or the company actually has that person's ID and all their information on there. So that you can see that they already verified their email and their phone number. So let's just say we went with this person. Let's just say or we can easily go over here and uh, look for another app if you're interested so we can do it with a one app. Uh, let's just say we purchased... Uh, let's do this bubble one right here. Let's just say we purchased this one for a hundred dollars. Um, now, as you can see, they actually did do the government ID, and you can see the transactions totaling of $31,000. That right there, my friend, is insane. As you can see, they even have financials. Uh, some people can actually mess with this a little bit by actually running ads, a lot of ads uh, for that certain application just so it can get boosted, and then they can easily just take a picture whenever that app is boosted. Um, so you can, these are pretty kind of sketchy as well. So you can kind of go off of this if you want to, or you if you don't want to then just don't go off of it but i'm going to show you a way where you can actually make this legit if you're interested so let's pretend like we purchased this one they're even going to show you some proof right here so some of these people even have proofs so we can just come over here and look at the earnings so it says bubble right here bubble 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 and as you can see on august uh 2019 july 2019 and june you can see it totaled up to 1961 dollars which is pretty crazy um just for this application i haven't even seen the app so we can cl click on here and see about the application see if it's even interesting so they only have two pictures oh no they have more okay so we can just keep coming over here and just look and see what the video or the app is about it just says one two three and it has level one i'm not really too sure what the app is um so it has over 1,000 downloads so this could be a uh boosted app um so just we can just keep on looking at the information and let's just say we like the information uh can you post video of earnings please september earnings october earnings okay so we can just say we purchase this application so once we purchase this and we actually put our money a like hundred dollars inside of um flippa's actually uh escrow account so they uh, flippa has our money but the owner the seller doesn't so we can let's just say that flippa escrow has our money right there if we paid a hundred dollars for it now the second step in this, once we actually like the application we found, we are uh, almost guaranteed that the person is going to give us the application. If not, then we can easily just get our money back by filing uh, a claim and then we'll just easily get our money back from them. So the second step is actually going through the uh, transaction. So they're going to need a couple of information from you guys or once you purchase it, so from me. And what you have to provide is the uh, Google Play uh, actual purchase fee so you know whenever I told you about that $25 sign up fee uh, for actually owning a developer account then you have to pay that 25 so they're gonna need they might need that transaction ID and I'm going to show you where you can find that uh, so once you pay that transaction ID if you just go to uh, Google Play console on Google then it should be the first link and then once you actually pay that fee on whatever account you want that your Google account um, you're going to go over to here where it's going to be transfer app. So I typed in transfer app uh, to a different developer account. And then once you scroll down, it says right here, find a target account transaction ID. So I'm going to post up a picture, two pictures right here. So because I can't show you my transactions because I just don't want to put out my personal information online. So there's going to you're going to look for something just like this right here to my left. And then once you actually find that once you actually purchase or actually pay that fee then you're going to look for a column on the right side if you're on your desktop or your computer that's going to say transaction id and it's going to start with a pd something i believe i can't remember that last letter i think it's a pds all right so it's going to be look something just like this a pds and it's going to have numbers right after that so you're going to copy that you're going to send it to them through uh flippa 
and then they're gonna they're gonna need some more information so let's say we purchase this bubble uh, again uh, this bubble account so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to add mobs so as you can see I just got through buying this uh, application right now for, for just a couple of days ago so they recently I think today they actually just sent me over uh, my ads uh, account so they actually put in my ad codes inside of their account which as you can see right here it says user uh, metrics so it says sessions and user uh, one person uh, it says ad session duration 50 two seconds so you can see it's already making uh, actual money or hasn't made any money yet uh, but you can see it's making impressions so there's people that are actually using this app so we're, let's pretend we're actually gonna start up a new app so we're gonna go over here we're gonna go to add app we're gonna go to publish so we're gonna click on yes and then we're gonna look for the app so we're just gonna type in bubble so let's just type in bubble uh oh b-u-b-b-l-e uh oh uh, it has an A and it has this little thing. All right, so I just want to make sure I have the right uh, account so or the right app that we're going to try this out with. So let's see if I can actually find it. If I can't, then that's going to be a pain. Um, let's see what else we can search this out for just because it's going to be a pain to look for it. Uh, let's click on... All right, so it says find search by app name, developer name, or app ID. So let's click on here. Let's search for the developer name. And it's going to be offered by mobile gaming. So we're going to come back over here to add mob. We're going to search in the developer name and see what app where the app is at actually. So you see it has over 59 apps. That is crazy. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to search for the bubble app. It should pop up pretty soon. Um, if not, then I'll just click on any one of these apps to pretend like we purchased that one for $100. So let me keep on skimming through real quick. I think I passed it. Um, so I'm showing you guys everything so you guys won't think if there's any cheats, any hacks, any lies in this video. So you can see I'm doing everything. So there it is right there. So we're going to click on add. So once we actually added this, we're going to get this app ID. So you're just going to copy this right here. You're going to send it to him. Um, so once you actually purchase that, it says, congratulations, you have been added to AdMob. So this app has already been added to our AdMob, which AdMob is the uh, advertising for AdSense. So that's where you actually get paid through actually run, uh, ads running on your actual app. So we're going to send them this ID right here. So we could just click on copy. We can come over here to Flippa. And then within the message, uh, once you actually purchase the app, it's going to send you to like a messaging uh, system so Flippa can actually uh, study and read your guys' conversations pretty much if there's any problems. So you're going to send him that uh, actual app ID. Then he's going to need a couple of more information. So we're going to click on, um, go back to AdMob. We're going to click on create a new ad unit. So most likely most ads have banner ads in them. So we're going to click on select. We can just type this in. We can type it really anything. So I'll just type in banner. Um, so once we actually do that, we're going to create an ad unit. So within that, you're actually going to send them, I believe, this information right here. Or I believe actually follow the banner instructions. Uh, so you're actually going to send them this one right here. Or both of them, I believe they're the same. Nope, they're different. So you can actually just send them this one right here just in case. Or you can send them both. And then uh, once you actually send them that, you're going to click on create another ad unit. And you can um, the other one is actually doing um, this one right here. So you're just going to create, you can pretty much create an ad unit for all of them. And just ask them, hey, what ad unit are you going to need? And then once he says a banner or this one or rewarded or this one right here as well, native advanced, um, then you just send them that information so we can select the same thing we can type in uh just copy this word or copy this and just type it down there and create an ad unit and you're going to send them the same information and then after it's going to take around two days as you can see right here it says so guys don't make don't don't get scared if it doesn't come uh, inside your account right away instantly within the first hour two hours of you purchasing this application as you can see it says you submit your transfer request reviews and replies to a transfer request within two business days so it's going to take up to two business days for you to actually receive this app after he actually inputs all the coding inside of the application for you and um so once we actually get that guys uh we just need to wait and then once we actually get that application onto our account if you guys want there's gonna be a second actual way i'm gonna show you something so easy and so crazy 
this if we go back to flippa before i actually show you that pretend all this says zero right here so you're starting off with a brand new app you're starting off with a brand new everything so let's just look for something that has zero all right arena hero fight so let's say we actually started off with this one it looks pretty attractive if we like it then we purchase it uh, most likely it says annual profit negative one dollars i would not buy that um but the buy it now price is only fifty dollars um so let's say we purchase this one and uh, we want to get traffic. There's two ways to actually get traffic. One way, the first way is actually just doing ads. Nothing but ads. Just keep on through doing ads on, you can work on AOS, which is SEO, which is trying to rank for the number one on certain keywords for your application to get organic downloads. So organic downloads is the key to pretty much passive income because uh, it's just gonna be at the top of the list on Google Play if they search in on Google. Um, fight if they search and fight on google play store to look for games that have fighting in it then your app might show up in the top 10 top 50 top uh five maybe the top one and then most likely people are going to click on yours because you're at the first of the list and um so that is the holy grail to passive incomes through apps and that's called aso so what we're going to be doing is if you want to do downloads or I mean ads then just run ads on Google Play on YouTube run ads at everywhere you can um, and just start trying to be in profit because you're gonna run through expenses on ads and then just try to make sure you're in, in profit zones so you won't be losing money on this ads and on the back end you can just start working on ASO so you, your actual app can start ranking and get organic get organic downloads so Here's a hack, guys. This is the important part. Make sure you watch this extremely, extremely well. Now, if we just go over to Fiverr and we just type in App ASO, we can see that we can actually hire these people $5, $15 to actually create a title for us, a good title. It says, I will write an Android and iOS game or app description with ASO. I will write a game in app description based on the app store optimization ASO for only five dollars you can get somebody to actually write a beautiful description for you maybe even twenty five dollars this one has uh, 1,000 actual uh, reviews so I'd highly recommend you spending that extra twenty five dollars so you can get a ranked application from the start so if we just come over here click on his actual uh, gig you can see it's going to be a, you, this can work for two platforms so it's going to be iOS and Android it's going to he's going to give you 10 keywords that you can rank for and he's going to give you 250 app uh, description words so if we go over to premium you can get two competitors researched 500 app description word 20 keywords that you can rank for on Google Play or and iOS and only for $135 so it's if you want to start off with basic and try to rank on there for basic and start getting some passive organic traffic then go for it now once you actually spend that $25 and then once you actually spend that 50 or $100 on the application that you are interested in Look, listen, guys. You get your money's back from that. It's gonna take a couple of months, maybe even a couple of weeks, depending on how good your S A S O is. Now, once you get your money's back, now you have proof, organic proof, that your app is actually, let's say, uh, the income is a uh, hundred dollars a month, or two hundred dollars a month, or three hundred dollars a month. Take a screenshot of that. Come over back to Flippa. Now repost that application on Flippa and sell it for a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. And if nobody purchases at that price, then just sell it for a little bit less. Let's start off with five thousand or five hundred or uh, four hundred, three hundred, and still then just keep going lower. You already got your profit. I mean, you already got your money's back. Then you're now you're in profit. So just sell this app for more, get that money, and then buy a better app, and then do the same thing. Just come buy the app, do the analysis, uh, purchase a couple of apps, come back to Fiverr, have ASO on all of those apps and then get the monies back from what you, whatever you spend on them and then resell them on Flippa and then just keep doing that process this is an insane way to make money online if you don't want to actually sell this back on Flippa then just keep the application for life that's it guys just keep the application for life you can hire once he's made thousands and thousands through uh, flipping apps or uh, money making apps through passive way then just hire people to upgrade the app, add new uh, things inside of there, add rewards. Uh, you can easily come over to AdMob and add a reward um, 
a reward thing. So we go to add unit, you can add a reward one. So once you select it, they can earn, let's say, uh, by watching a video, they can earn, let's say, 20 or 30 points. And then with those 30 points, they can upgrade their bubble to a different color or make the bubble into a basketball or make the bubble into something. And then they can just start watching ads. Now you're making even more money because you hired a, uh, let's say, a coder to actually input this onto that application. Or you can make it even more challenging and then adding uh, achievements on there. And then once they reach a certain amount of achievements, then they can actually uh, unlock a certain level or something like that. So the guys, there is an unbelievable amount of ways you can actually make money through apps. And thank you so much for actually asking me that question so I can actually make this video for you and actually show you the whole process of how to actually transfer an app to another person, to your account. And then guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn other ways on how to make money online. And until next time, guys, peace.